Hi everybody, I've got an Aldi haul. Uh, we always go there around the first of the month and get the things that we don't get anywhere else, if that makes any sense, uh, that are cheaper there and stuff like that. Um, Walmart's really high anymore on their uh, paper goods, so I get my like um, toilet paper, uh, paper towels, and uh, facial tissue and stuff like that at Aldi. Um, we we try to get our trash bags at Aldi. Uh, there's there's just lots of different things. All their cheeses are cheaper, and there's more in them than Kroger's. And um, you know, Kroger has. I mean, a Walmart has pretty good prices on their cheese, but these are they're still cheaper at Aldi. So we try to get a lot of our cheese there. So anyway, and also, I'm gonna make some. Uh, I saw Colleen on her channel. Uh, and sorry, Colleen, I can't remember exactly how it goes. Hold on just a minute. Anyway, she tried some... Uh, I've tried the chicken salad from Aldi before, and it's great. Um, and she, she tried them on their wraps, and I realized I hadn't got their wraps for a long time, so I wanted to get some. And uh, I'll show them to you in just a minute. But here's the uh, chicken salad. This stuff is great, y'all. And uh, she made wraps out of it. I'm going to put some lettuce on, on ours. Uh, I don't know if she put lettuce on hers or not. But anyway, here's her channel. It, I didn't remember how the, the second part of it went. It's Colleen C. And then the bottom, what that's a dash or something, to Serendipity. Uh, check out her channel. She does this day in history every day, which I find very interesting. Uh, and she does... Uh, a few hauls and she does uh, drive with us and stuff like that and some everyday life stuff as well so check out her channel um she has a real good channel and she needs some new friends everybody needs more friends so definitely check her out and uh let me set this somewhere okay so i got the the chicken salad And as long as they have onion rings, and I have a little place to put them, I'm going to get a, a thing of their onion rings. These are so good, everybody. I can't say enough about them. They're so good for the price. We got some raspberries. They look really good, too. We got... I might try these because I want to open them bef uh, before Logan's show. <laughs> so I might try these on morning coffee break. Yeah, Cran cho dark chocolate covered cranberries. Oh my goodness. That's got to be good. Okay, and uh, like I said, we get most of our cheese there. This is Pepper Jack. It's, it's 7.5 ounces. They did take just a little bit out. It used to be eight, but that's not real bad. I guess it's probably a slice or two, maybe. Maybe a slice. It still has 10 slices. Maybe they made the slices smaller. I don't know, to a half, half an ounce smaller. And this, they're the best place to get your regular old wrapped cheese. They, they have the best buy on it as well. Is there anything else in that? Nope. Okay, let me put this little bit up. That's all the refrigerated and frozen we got. And then I'll get the rest of this stuff. Okay. Got the 12 count, 1,000 roll uh, toilet paper there. It's gone up a couple times recently. I don't know if paper goods all in general are going up everywhere because they're really high at uh, Walmart. Uh, sometimes we get paper goods at Dollar General and they're pretty good, pretty good prices. But um, they've gone up, I think, twice in the past uh, month or so on their uh, on that toilet paper. It lasts a long time and everything. I, I like to keep getting it, but it's still cheaper uh, than a 12 pack of thousand count. Uh, at Walmart, I can't remember how much they were there, but they were they were higher. Um, okay, here's these wraps. They have two kinds. They have spinach, and hey, kitty, there's not room over here. No. Not room. Hold on, everybody. Okay, there's just no room up here right now. I got this whole area full and stuff behind here and everything, where I'd better sit up here. Sometimes she'll sit and lay. She'll just lay right down, uh, you know, when she has room, and she just sits and watches everything I do, but she'd have to sit right here, and she doesn't know that I'm filming, you know, so she she would be right here thinking, you know, I'm just 
you know, pet her and stuff. But she's interested in everything. You know, she's very curious. Okay, here's the wraps. They got a spinach one, and this one's my favorite. I think, I think Joy and Logan might like the, they like this one, but I think they like the spinach better. But I wanted some of these. They're really good. They, they're just really good, and they're really soft. I don't know how many's in it now. Six? I think there used to be eight in it. <laughs> I swear. Because <coughs> we've got these a lot of time. And uh, I don't know. They look like they might be a still, still the same size, but I think they've taken a couple out. It just kills me. They always, there are all these companies are finding ways to either uh, uh, shrink it or shrink it and go up on it. Or put less in it you know it's just ridiculous they just keep on and on every time you turn around you see something you go you know I think last time that was bigger I, am I crazy or what you know it just really it really gripes me it's just one of my pet peeves that there is it's called I call it shrinkflation and you know that I think that term is being used more and more but uh, the companies you know they they used the uh, it's like they use the uh, pandemic, you know, for a reason to go up, but the pandemic's over. I mean, COVID's still around, but the pandemic's over, basically, and um, they're still doing it, you know. Okay, it's over. Go back to like it was before then, you know. But once they make something smaller and, and charge more, nine times out of ten, it's going to be that way from then on. I have noticed a few things... <coughs> go da back down in price at Aldi some but they're still smaller you know so they still got that even if they go back down 10 cents or something uh, just getting it's getting pitiful I, I hate to go off on now I could talk about that for probably a half hour so I I'll be quiet now about that it just it just grinds me pretty bad we got these blackberry Belle V sparkling waters these are usually pretty good I don't think I've tried that one I may have to try one of those uh, one morning and I don't think they even have any um, I don't think they have any sugar or sweetener of any kind in them I'm, I'm pretty positive just yeah filtered carbonated water and natural flavors so you don't have to worry about some kind of uh, sweetener that's bad for you you know uh, uh, there's uh, people say stuff about every kind of sweetener basically there is pretty much um, I know that some of them I think it's uh is it stevia and the uh, is stevia made from or monk fruit I've heard that one there's a couple that are actually I guess they're okay for you I don't know I, I try not to drink anything but water and my coffee <laughs> basically unless I try something for a, a taste test you know and we'll just get one bottle of it okay I got tricked on this one make sure that you look at the tags in front of them I mean I look at them and but I didn't read on it I mean I look at it from a distance and it said uh, kettle corn or something uh, about kettle corn and this is popcorn this here is what I'm talking about we're gonna be trying this too white and dark drizzled caramel corn caramel corn drizzled, drizzled with white and dark chocolate flavored coating the sticker in front of it said something about kettle corn. I thought, okay, well, popcorn, kettle corn is, is really popcorn that's made, I guess, a different way. I don't, I don't know. But um, it's supposed to be slightly sweet, I think. Um, I've had it before, and it was slightly sweet. But anyway, it said $2.29 in front of this one, and I didn't get, I don't have my glasses on, and I didn't get in front of it and try to really read for sure. The box, this box was in the wrong place. And I went back there because I looked at our receipt before we left the store. And uh, I said, my gosh, that's that was $4.99? I said, it said $2.29. I know it did. And uh, I went back there, and the guy was happened to be right there stocking. And I saw him looking at those two tags. And I said, yeah. I said, that's what I came back here for. I said, uh I thought I got this and it was the box of these was right in front of that tag and uh, I said I got these thinking they were 229 I said now I see the, the they're in the wrong place aren't they he said yeah he said they're in the wrong place he didn't even apologize or anything I, they never rarely do and uh, you know they they're pretty nice there though overall you know but they're always in a hurry as far as helping you and things there's a couple people there that have been patient 
and helped us a few times. Some of them act like they don't have time for you. Just be honest. And uh, so anyway, he said, yeah, that one was in the wrong place. I said, yeah, I wouldn't have bought that if I'd known it was $4.99. I thought it was $2.29, which would have been a great deal, $2.29, right? Um, I don't know. Somebody stocked it in the wrong place. Or a customer pushed it over, or I don't know what. I don't know how it got like that, really. Probably they put it in the wrong spot. Because if they just glanced at that one and it said something about kettle corn or something, they probably just put the box there. Uh, I haven't, I don't think I've seen these before, but I wanted the uh, cinnamon ones, but they were all gone. Uh, that's another thing. They had their cases of stuff come mixed. Like this had original ones in it and caramel ones in it. Or, I mean, caramel would be good. I mean, cinnamon. So people dig through them and buy all the cinnamon ones. Same thing with their roast beef and the um, lunch meat. They have one brand, one type of roast beef, and it's in with a rotisserie style chicken. There'll be tons of that rotisserie style chicken every time and no roast beef. And that's the only one they have. I mean, they don't have a, any other choice of roast beef. We wanted to get some, but they're always out. So I went ahead and got these because Joyce said she thought she would still like them. And they're, they're pretty good for you, really. Gluten free, too. Um, these are really good. Uh, Sponges or whatever you want to call it, heavy heavy duty scrub sponges. They're pretty thick too. I like that. Um, we go through you know these. I, I don't uh, after they after I've used them for you know until I if, if I think they're starting to look a little dirty or something I just throw them out. I know you can microwave them and stuff, but they're pretty cheap. I just soon get a fresh one. You know, uh, nothing. Not that there's anything wrong with doing that. I heard, heard you can microwave them and it kills any germs and stuff so maybe i need to be doing that anyway as well you know and then still throw them away after so long we got we always get logan a chocolate bar when we go and this one we got is another one of their new ones the last one was dark chocolate and cranberry and i'll tell you what that one was great it was really good and dark chocolate is better for you than milk chocolate but this one's raspberry almond. It's another new one. So that sounds good. Um, Joy got this downy there. I don't know. They've got their own brand. I, she probably should have just got their own brand because if it's, if Downy is sitting next to it, chances are Downy makes it for them. You know, that's just the way they do. <clears throat> but she said she likes Downy. I don't know if it was a different, maybe a different. Uh, this is April Fresh. Maybe the one they had wasn't April Fresh. It was just like regular Downy would be. So it says seven and one something. See back for a list. Seven benefits. Lasting freshness. Protects color. Softens. Fight stretch. Wrinkle reduction. Anti-static. Anti-fuzz. Anti-fuzz. <laughs> so that, that's pretty good. Okay, we got a, some yellow potatoes. We hadn't got any of these in a while. They had a, a like one of their red tags on it, I believe, where they were, you know, they're it's cheaper than normal. And uh, they make great mashed potatoes, the yellow ones do. Okay, and I got, I don't know if I said or not, I got two cases of purified drinking water. Um, we were just about out. I needed a couple. I'm gonna wait and try to find a better deal if I get any more. Uh, I'll have to get some more, but I'll wait until I find a good price. Uh, this coffee, this Beaumont Classic Roast, uh, it smells and the taste of it is it's almost exactly like the one from Walmart that we like so much. And we forgot to get one. I wanted to get one of those big ones, even though it's eight ounces less than it used to be, pretty, or seven and a half or something like that less. Um, this one they made the canister smaller but it's still 30.5 ounces i think i think at one time when it the when it was bigger i should show you it was a little bit bigger about this much bigger i think back then it had 30 point 34.5 ounces in it now it's 30.5 and they made a smaller can oops <laughs> take out the camera with it uh, a smaller can which i don't i don't mind them making the package smaller to save money you know, I don't mind that. 
uh, just don't uh, make you know less product all the time so they had these uh, the red sticker in front of these they're normally I think 745 and I'll have to see how much they are what I do with the oh, I got the okay there's the receipt okay and uh, like I said we get we've been getting our paper towels there mostly um, I think we got a few the last time we were at Walmart, but uh, I get like the six packs of their paper towels at Aldi. I get my tissue, facial tissue, and toilet paper there, and I try to get the trash bags there because they're cheaper than... Kroger has the same type trash bag, but it's like 50 cents more or something like that. I'm gonna try, I try to save, you know, quarters and 50 cents, you know, they all add up. Oh, we saw something kind of pitiful and kind of tacky. You know, a lot of times, you know, uh, people will just leave their buggies there. You know, you got to put a quarter in the buggy, a quarter in it to, to get it. And then when you put the chain thing back in, your quarter comes back out. A lot of people will leave their buggy there without hooking it up for someone that might not have a quarter. You know, they kind of pay it forward. And uh, we've done that, too. And uh, so, I mean, we've had people give us... You know, we've, we've said here, here, I oh, will give you a quarter. And they'll be like, no, that's that's okay. So that's the kind of thing. You, you always see a buggy or two, you know, if, if you don't have a quarter that you can get. Well, this lady, <laughs> she was going out with a bunch of stuff. She had a huge order. Uh, and she got one of those buggies and put it up and took the quarter out of it. <laughs> I thought, that is just tacky. That is really tacky. That's somebody trying to pay it forward. And you're going to take the quarter, you know, and I'm sure when she put her buggy back, she got her quarter too. But, you know, that's just, I, I just thought that was pitiful. I've even seen people put four or five quarters up on the ledge, uh, like where the bottom of the window has like bricks sticking out, you know, they'll lay them up there, you know, and stuff like that. But I just thought it was pitiful. Uh, <laughs> So anyway, uh, they used to have their own brand of facial tissue. I mean, it, it, I guess Scotty's probably made them for them. And they were called Willow or something like that. Like they're, let's see, is that what this? Yeah, Willow, that's what the toilet paper's called. I think they were Willow as well. Um, <coughs> but these are, they're cheaper there. There's only, the only problem is there's 110 in it. So it doesn't have a ton of them in it. But this is like the same one I think they have at Dollar Tree. Scotty's. What I like is it says since 1957, one billion plus trees planted by D J D Irving. I guess that's the company that makes this. Yeah, so that's awesome. At least they're trying to to help back, you know. Okay, so I got that one. I just show you the. I like the uh, different designs on them. And here's this one. And then. With my allergies and stuff, I go through a lot of facial tissue, especially overnight and stuff. I get all congested sometimes. So anyway, that should be everything. I showed you that down there. Let's see what everything was. The drinking water was 319, and I think they've gone up to like 379 or something like that at Kroger, but I always wait till it's on sale. For like two ninety nine or two forty nine or something like that. <clears throat> so I got two of those. The yellow potatoes were two twenty nine. That's not bad for five pounds. I guess that's what it is. Five. Yeah. So that's not bad. Uh, potatoes are even expensive. The uh, sponges a dollar fifty nine. The tissue a dollar nine. That's pretty good. They're dollar sixty eight. I think they have like a hundred and thirty two or something like that in it at Walmart but they're dollars uh, 68 I think each and that caramel corn was 499 I probably I wouldn't have got that if, if, uh, if I'd known it was that much but it'll be a good thing to try on Logan show uh, I think the spinach wraps even though they took two out of them I think the spinach wraps are a good price at 249 <coughs> the cranberry it says cranberry cherry Cranberry cherry, is it? They must have cherry dark, dark chocolate covered cherries too. But I, I think she just she wanted the cranberry, which would probably be good as well. Four ninety nine. 
so they're kind of high, but there's a lot in there. Um, their onion rings are 379, and they're just great. The thousand sheet, 12 pack of tissue, uh, toilet paper, 829. Like I said, it's gone up twice for some reason. Bell V, uh, 12 pack, 545. Yeah, the coffee was five nineteen, and it's regular seven forty five, I think, or something. It's seven forty something, so that is just a great deal. That's it's like less two dollars less, over two dollars less than it was. So we got two of those. I mean, you got to, because uh, it's it's all expensive everywhere else, unless you find a great sale. <laughs> we got a mineral water. I don't. It's not in here. It's an Italian mineral water. We got for ninety nine cents. Drank it. The downy was $4.94. The apple chips were $1.89. The chocolate bar was $1.99. I think the raspberry is a good price for $2.49. Uh, the sliced pepper jack was $1.89. The chicken salad was $5.79. But believe me, that is some really good chicken salad. I, I don't mind paying that for it. I always wish things were less, but I mean, it's good for the price. Uh, the uh, cheese singles was a dollar eighty nine. So, so that's it. Got some pretty good deals, especially I think on that coffee. Um, that's just a great deal on it. So, everybody, I hope you enjoyed this Aldi haul. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also, subscribe if you haven't already and share this out. Oops! Don't jump the gun and hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Everybody, I hope you have a great day. And we'll see you later on. God bless.